Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, I'm Joanna Coles, and today we are going to take your Halloween snacks up a notch. Julie Brown's visiting with us today, Warren County Extension Agent for 4-H Youth Development. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Julie, you have all these fun things. You must have spent hours on Pinterest trying to figure out. <laughs> Just a little bit of time, but you know, I kind of like to have a little bit of creativity, so when I do things with the kids, so yeah. I thought this would be a little fun things to show people, and they're, I am like to be creative but I always also don't have a whole lot of time to do things. So I like something that's quick, simple, and easy that you can do. You heard it here. Okay, Julie, show us quick, simple, and easy snacks. So um, these are just Pringle cans. Okay. That's all they are. And you get construction paper, you lay it upside down, you trace it with a pencil, you cut it out, and then you just use a Sharpie. And decorate it. And decorate like, it. A, like a pumpkin. Like that a pumpkin. Awesome. You know, I have pumpkins. I've got, you know, even googly eyes. So you can do all types of different designs on there. It's Pringles can. You do the color that so the kids know orange is obviously the orange flavor. Pringles, you know the red's original. You know, stick with those type of colors, oh, and the kids are gonna know what they are. They're even color coordinated, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so um, everyone loves M and M's. Absolutely. So M and M's, cichlids, um, and Whoppers is what I have here. So you're just gonna go buy you a package of M and M's, buy you some Whoppers and some cichlids, and all you need is some tape. Okay, and you're gonna make this little Halloween I'm make man. Make this little Halloween man. So you put the cichlids on as his legs, and you could do some type of other types of candy that's you know long and narrow like that. Uh huh. Because you had mentioned that some of these were hard to find, but right now I think yep. all the candy is out. And so, so you should be able to you know find these. I've been working on this now for several weeks, getting stuff pulled together. Even like Twizzler legs or it something. Would work, yeah. yeah. So you're just gonna tape them on there, and you've got your little legs, and. You can even go and find these in the craft store. It's a little jack-o'-lantern face. And you just, little sticky dot on the back, and you pull off the sticky dot. And then put the face on there. That the is pretty on. easy. So yeah. just simple, easy. You know, that you can do. The kids will like it. They'll get a big, big kick out of that. Yeah. So another one is the pudding cups. You know, black construction paper, um, googly eyes with some glue. And all I did was I just cut out the bats Got and, me some tape, and, and you taped just tape it, to, it the back. to the back. Yeah, those are cute and easy. Now, did you find a pattern for this and then cut them out? I will say I'm not the crafty quite person in my household. My husband is the drawer in the household, so he drew me he the back. He drew those? He drew those for me. He freehanded me my back ones. I'm impressed. Those are so, awesome. He did those, and you just, you know, pick out some googly eyes, glue them on the front, and you have your little pudding cups. All right. So kind of the same concept. Who doesn't love the little chocolate I love brownies those, from Debbie? <laughs> so um, same concept. Put your bat wings on the back, add you some googly eyes, and you have you some bat brownies. I mean, I love those brownies anyway, but those are super cute. Now, what are these little ghosts? So the little ghost is some type of Tootsie Roll Pop or however you like it, and your coffee filters. Oh, those are so, these, yeah. You just wrap them over and then you get you some black string and or orange string or whatever. You just tie you a little bow and then get out your Sharpie again and draw you a little face. So yeah, the Sharpie's key in yeah, all, the key of these. In all of these. <laughs> you need a Sharpie. So I will say the one that's a little more complicated is our little um, spider. Okay. So you're going to have to get you some pipe cleaners. All right, and you have your Tootsie Roll Pop. And you have your Tootsie Roll Pop, so you need three, or no, sorry, four pipe cleaners, because there are spiders, so we'll have eight legs. <laughs> See, kids are learning while they're doing. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> and then you just kind of have to wrap them, and you just kind of keep wrapping them around. Okay. That's what makes these a little more time consuming, mm -hmm. a little more no, harder to do. No kid doesn't love to work with pipe cleaners, you So know? you might be able to, especially with your older ones, mm -hmm. um, and then you glue googly eyes on them and you have your little spider. Cute. So, now what about the, the orange drinks here? The orange drinks, make them little pumpkins. You know, you can get smaller ones, you can do other ones, but you just sharp is key again, make you a little triangles for their eyes, color them in. Or you can even put those googly eyes, I you think, on those. You could just put the googly eyes yeah. on there. See, you got creativity. I'll tell you, yes. Julie's inspiring me this morning. <laughs> so, and then yeah. you just make your mouth. And so all great for a Halloween yeah. party, and, and it does. Things like this help get kids' creative juices going and gets them excited about and, the party. you know, get your kids involved. 
you know, especially if you have some of the older ones that are having the Halloween parties, get them involved. I'm quite sure my six-year-old, he could make the, you know, the jack-o'-lantern people. He would have fun doing it, and he'd be able to tell his buddies what he's been doing, those types of things. Yeah, and it's inexpensive, good family yes. fun putting that together. Yeah. So thanks for sharing that with us, Julie, this morning. If you have any questions, make sure to contact your local Extension office. We appreciate you watching. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.